I guess that the world has moved on And all certainties are now gone Okay, welcome to the so Good Crowley. Good Crowley's. Hey, I always want to forget the good. We're the bad. <laughs> One, two, three. Welcome to the Good Crowley's. Yes. Okay. You're, go ahead, you start reading. Again, I I need some <laughs> gun. Who are you? Oh, I'm sorry. My name is Angel. I'm Rain. I'm Kathy. And I'm Lori. <laughs> sorry about that. We're all good. All right. Take these things off for a little bit again. In sometimes in adversity, the strength of our community shines brightness. Today, as we face a variety of challenges together and in more important than ever, extend a helping hand to those around us, whether it is offering support to a neighbor in need, volunteering our time for a local cause, or simply spreading kindness to our daily interactions. Each act of companionship contributes to the uplifting of, of our community. Let's come together just as individuals, but as collected forces for good. Let's per, per, bleh, provide... <laughs> Empathy and understanding, recognizing that everyone has their own struggles, burdens to bear. By lending a listening ear, sharing resources, and fostering senses of belongings, we can create a community where everyone feels valued and supported. There are countless ways to make positive impacts, no matter how big or small. Whether it's organizing a community cleanup day or starting a food drive for those facing insecurities of Simply checking on a friend, a loved one, the elderly who may feel isolated, every action counts. Let's build bridges instead of walls. Let's lift each other up in times of need. Together we can create a brighter force, more inclusive future for our community. One where kindness and compassion are are guided principles. Thank you for being a part of our journey toward stronger and more resigned community. Thank you, Lori. You're welcome. Okay, so today's sponsorship is by um, HGM Photography. Rain, you want to tell us about that? Which is Kathy Hagen and her husband, Anthony. Anthony. And they do family pictures, couple and engagement, newborn, weddings, senior graduations, maternity, business shoots, and nonprofit. Call them for your photography needs. They're in a phone, a business phone number is 920-277-7921. Thank you. And we are looking for new sponsorships. So if you are interested in sponsoring, please give us a call on 920-381-3942. Okay. Anybody that wants to call in today during live, that number is again, the 920-381-3942. Three nine four two. Today's topics are ball horses. horses and different animals and how much they cost to raise. Okay, so we're going to start this all over again. Uh, 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 hi, Bree. Hi. <laughs> we thought we were alive. We, Man, we thought we were alive, but we weren't. So, okay, how much does it cost about a month about to raise two horses? And what kind of horses do you have? I have quarter horses, which um, are actually, they are actually thoroughbred, which you would consider to be close to what the horses are at the Kentucky Derby. What? Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I was surprised by that. Yep. I have do have their pedigrees all the way back to 1853. Oh, yeah, I do. And Leroy was actually born at your place. He was. <laughs> yep. I knew Candy was in labor. I knew it. I told Kevin we were going to have a baby, and um, uh, we took her for a lot of walks, but she had Leroy when neither one of us were in the barn. So Leroy was born at about 10 o'clock at night, so we got to watch him take his first steps. Candy was a very, yeah, Candy was a very protective mom. Would let us, I didn't even know what Leroy was the first week. Really? Yeah. Put it down. Yeah. It's all right. <laughs> okay. What did you ask me? Uh, last time I asked you is um, 
let's see, how much does it cost about a month to feed and raise two horses? Well, in the wintertime, not the summer, because I have um, 10 acres of pasture that they're on, about $10 a day in hay. So times that. And okay. then, yeah. And it, then their mineral blocks, their feed, which I only give them about a scoop and a half every other day, and their treats. Um, <laughs> so feed is about $27. Treats are about $17. Are you going by day or by week? $27 a day in a month. I found. It's a month. Yes. That's about a per month. month. Oh, yeah. Per month. Yeah. Okay. That's what you asked me. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. Sorry. Um, I know you're part of that. Kathleen, you're fine. <laughs> Unless I'm taking care of them. Yeah. That it costs more. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> they get away with more. Yes. It does. Oh, and then to yes, it does. <laughs> about $25 a month for in the winter. Not so for heat or Excuse me. Because we have to have the water needed. For a number of reasons, they have to drink, and we don't want them to call it. Which is the only time I actually had to call them this last time that I ba- babysat was because the host froze up. <laughs> I didn't clean it out good enough. It was my fault. But I didn't realize if I would have looked, I would have noticed that there was three more hoses hanging there when you walk in. But when you walk in, the door goes like this. They're behind the door. But when I walk out, it's right there, and I never, because I, I, I have, I have horse, I'm, I'm all about the horses, and, and when I'm trying to leave, I've got Kalina on my freaking, right here, so you don't even think to look over on this side, because the cats. Now, how many people can take care of your horses while well, you're gone? Oh, it's me, Angel. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's just me. It's only Angel. I want to know when, the, if they're going to go to Sturgis. I don't go to Sturgis. Kevin went. D. But yeah, that's in South Dakota. That's every August, right? Or is it July? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was trying to tell them they need to go. It's bike week. Big, big motorcycle bike week out in South Dakota. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was trying to talk them into a, a, a second vacation. Oh, in a year. <laughs> I couldn't take care of it. Hey, I'm, I'm not going to lie. It was like a resort for me. Because it's totally different from what I live with back here. I'm in chaos right now because it's just moving into mom and dad's house, which it's been just under a year. It hasn't even been a year yet. Right. I mean, we moved in in November. November. Well, right. yeah, I moved in in November. Dan didn't move in. Our whole house didn't move in until almost July because we sold our other house in at the end of June. So... Most of our house is actually still in storage units. We haven't even, because we're so, I'm not going to lie, it's overwhelming. It's overwhelming to get rid of your parents' stuff. 83 years of stuff. It's really hard to do. And people are so easy to say, oh, you know what, just throw it away. How do you throw away your mom and dad's life? Right. Because you know what, when it's gone, then it's final. Then, then you know it's done. And it's hard. Mm. So when I get to go watch the horses, the cats, and the dog, I'm in a freaking retreat. I'm yes. not going to lie. I, I tell people, I, I'm, I'm actually in a retreat. It's awesome. They got a beautiful home. Lots of yard. I just wish it was warmer when they asked me to watch them. <laughs> it was this year. Yes, yes, I did get lucky. But you want to know what? Mark my words. I really think that our seasons are changing. I really do. I think that we're going to start getting the summers and the winters. Arizona. Yesterday. Oh, we got a phone call. Hi. Thank you for calling. It's got to be answered first. He's got to answer. It's got to be answered first. Hi. Thank you for calling. How can we help you? Hello. Hola. Hello? Hi. Oh, you hung up on us. Please call back. You can't tease us like that. <laughs> call them back. Yeah, come on, Sarah. Call them back. 813942. Yes, please call back. You should call back. <laughs> what else do we want to talk about? The training? Yes, the training. The yoga. Yes. Yeah. The one thing about her horses, you can actually do yoga 
on the back of her horses. She has got these trained so well. Go for it. Mm-hmm. I was on um, Good Day Wisconsin. Not WBAW. I know your son. We're going to get you on WBAW. Oh, that's all right. Um, WFRB. Yep, they came out. We did segments. Um, yoga with the horses. It was pretty cool, pretty chill. I felt like everybody had a great time. I really did. Horses are really chill. Um, sometimes we held them outside. Sometimes we held them inside. Do you yeah. have like classes like that? We did. We did yoga classes. She'll do special classes for people if they contact her. Mm-hmm. And how do they get a hold of you if they want to do that? Well, that I don't do that anymore. Okay. Yeah, that was back in the day. Okay. But yeah. And Lena I is a sassy. No, and Lee Ray was all part of that. He was pretty good. Yeah. Um, but back in the day, I used to give riding lessons. And I made, um, before anybody would be able to get on my horse, they had to um, do ground lessons, starting from the ground up. The, they had to establish a bond with my horses before I let them get on the horses. It was like, I compare it to your um, tree. The roots of your tree, you have to build that relationship. Because if the horse sees that they can trust you on the ground, they're and you take care of them when you're on the ground, they're going to take care of you while you're on their back. I've had that proven to me time and time again. She also makes you ride bareback and tell them why. So for the connection. So that you, because it's not just you and it's not a horse, which makes it two things. You need to be one. You need to be connected. So if you're getting on that horse... And you're bareback. I make you go back and forth, back and forth like this, till you can actually feel your cheekbones. So that if you turn like this, so you're riding, and you have to hold your hands like this. So when you turn, they actually feel that cheekbone, knowing that you want them to go to the right. Or try it once. Rock back and forth. Yeah. Until you feel your cheekbones. Oh, yeah. I have a broken tailbone all over. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, pretend you're riding. You got the reins in your hand. Oh, oh, oh. No, I <laughs> Oh, it has to be. Nope, you have to be balanced. Okay. Now, turn. We're not, we're not, we're not yellow. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So that's what your horse feels. So before you're even done turning your head, your horse is already turning in that direction. Yep. You don't have to tap them. You don't, where you see people like that, like that. You don't even have to do that. You don't even have to use the reins on her horses. Well, that, they feel the way your cheeks move. Just like if you walk up to a horse, she'll tell you this too. Do not look at them in the eyes. If you, walk, if you look at yeah, if you look at them in the eyes, they will leave. You're coming into their territory. Mm-hmm. Respect that territory. I mean, how would you feel if I just... I guess, you know, yeah. not asking for your permission. You're just glad that. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <God. laughs> um, so let's tear down at their feet mm-hmm. and they won't move. But yeah, I'm all about being one. You're not two separate. You're one. Yet how long have you been doing this, Ray? Oh, I've had horses since I was six years old. And I've been working with this Pirelli program. What's Pirelli? Natural Horsemanship. Okay. 20, almost 25 years. Yep. And how old is Candy in Leroy? Leroy. We've been at the house 15 years now, Kevin. So Leroy will be 15 next month. Candy will be 20. Wow. Yeah. And they don't act it. I'm serious. They don't look like old old horses. How old the horses normally last? Well, so they actually sound in their 20s, but um, some of them go to their 30s. I think the oldest living horse was 50-something. Wow. That's yeah. amazing. They get flu shots just like we do. They get sinus infections like we do. They're built just like us. People don't know that. They get colds. You can give them the flu. Yeah. Really? Yes. They can get COVID. Yes. They can get COVID. They can get COVID. Mm-hmm. I found that out. After I got back from watching them and I got influenza A, and I was like so glad that it didn't happen when I was out there because I would have totally freaked out and went, you know, because all of us got it. And I would not have been able to 
Oh, they had to call in Laurie to go feed the horses. Yes. <laughs> when you turned her on. Yeah, we actually had to call the vet out because there was, I mean, there was, what, a week, I think it was? Poor Candy, she had a, the flu, a sinus infection, a cold, sore teeth. Well, how? Oh, she had it all. Well, I freaked out because right before you left, one, the cat got fixed that Thursday. They left on Friday. She tells me that Candy had an abscess on her foot, so it was getting drained. I'm like, it almost reminded me of the last time with Buddy. <laughs> that I just jumped right into. Well, what happened is um, uh, Candy took a really hard fall. And I see that's what happened. So I think you guys must have saw the pictures or whatever. I showed you the pictures. Yeah. So she took a really hard fall and her hip was all swollen. The barely walk. But ice. This, yeah. Yeah. She just fell that hard. Wow. Yeah. See? So they're just like us, but bigger. A lot bigger. Sassier too. Yeah. Anybody that wants to call, I'm just reminding you. Yes, please call in. Call on 3942. If anybody has any questions related to horses, cats, dogs, you know, we have, you know, an expert here. So you bring your horses in like I bring other dogs into our house where they meet outside. They don't mean in Zeb's territory. I was boarding horses, people's horses for a while. So before they got put together, they had to meet each other over the fence. And sometimes that process would take a week before we would even put them together, especially if they're geldings. You know, they would fight two boys, like two boys or whatever, because they're very territorial. Men, well, men, well, are the same. Right. Plus, one of my, and Angel got to be a part of this, plus one of my, um, my, one of my goals, one of my dreams in life was to train a wild horse. So we got to do that. Yep. Her name was Serenity, which is weird because I work with the Serenity at Timeline. And I did tell her that. Um, but it was really cool. When they dropped Serenity off, I was there. That was uh, awesome. They, she was never touched by human hands. Never. So she was, what, three years old? Yeah. Well, how did you, they were worried about it. But let me tell you, as soon as they seen the methods that Rain did. Yeah, there's videos. And they seen how this mm-hmm. horse just calmed immediately. I mean, it was like, it was scary. It was like somebody put a blanket over her. It was unbelievable. I mean, I was even amazed. Because when Rain brings her horses in. You know, all she does is she does not look at them. She just puts her head down and she goes like this. It's like she actually has a rope around their neck and she will pull them into her. They will literally come right up to her. Literally. I literally control them. What Asia was trying to say is I control them with my body. So that's the whole natural horsemanship, which I've I've learned. I'm certified. Um, Took a lot of time, a lot of hours with my horses. This didn't happen overnight. Took me a lot of hours to learn. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, by I think within 24 hours, I think we were putting a halter on Serenity. We were. How did you find Serenity? How how did you get connected with Serenity? She was on the Facebook, actually. Um, they were looking for somebody to board her. But Why? it would have to be somebody that they could trust because it was a wild horse. Well, what happened was, and you're right. What happened was is they um, rescued a whole bunch of forces. I think it was 13? Yeah. Yes. Was it 13? Yes, horses? it was 13 horses that they rescued. And nobody would take this. Nobody would take Serenity. I think we took the last uh, one. We, we got the last yeah, one. I think we, we got the last one. We got the last one. And uh, <laughs> sorry, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> but um, Kevin went through a lot. <laughs> the, well, he's probably hot back there, too. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, he he does look pretty hot. Just yeah. so you guys know, you can't see him over here. But <laughs> yep, there is open up the door. We put a lot of time, a lot of work into her. I was actually able to get a saddle on her. Yes. We were actually able to put a doll on her. They could not we, believe what Rain did to this horse in the short yeah, time. We only had her 20, how long? Was it six weeks? Yes. Did we only have her six weeks? I mean, mm-hmm. we didn't have it that long. Look at me. We. Um, I only came out and visited, but... She did all the work. They did all the work. Yeah. Yeah. And on top of that, you had how many horses at that time? Four. Of her own. Mm-hmm. 
because she had Star and she had Buddy also. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. But you like, have all this time rain to new your groups and your working, working. And yeah, she works full time also. Well, in that time, I think at that time, weren't we um, doing... Um, yeah, we were doing our... Uh, your, your group. Yeah, we were doing my group. Yeah, she had a free group going on. Yeah. I know. Who's doing? When horses out, well, isn't work. But where do you get the, where did you have the time to do all the energy too? Yeah. And a lot of times. They lot hit you up very early. <laughs> yeah. They come to the window. They come right? to the window. Yeah. We yeah. had, we've had two horses get out. One day Kevin was gone. I think on overnight something. I could hear some noise outside the bedroom <laughs> window. I turned on the light right by the patio. Opened up the curtain. There's star staring at me. <laughs> One other night I couldn't sleep. So I started to go make a wreath. I could hear something at the window. So the window like that one over there. Turn the light, there's Leroy. Like they got on the fence or whatever. But they didn't take off. They didn't go on the roll out or nothing. They just stayed right there. Yeah. I'm glad they didn't do that to me. That's all I can say. They're pretty chill. But yeah. you know what? They, they listened because even when I would tell them, you know, hey guys, back off. You know, I'd go, I'd look this way and I'd say, you know, back off. Right. And, you know, Leroy, because Leroy, he's, he's a bully. I'm not going to it's his it's his area and when i was trying to throw the hay he was just like oh, i want it God. can i want it now yeah pretty much yeah they're really um i've been on so much like that with me i think they just well, that's know better. because they know that well, that's because, because well what happens is you have to go out to your barn and be a leader so you have to go out there yeah i'm mr no yeah. what's that F and they listen to her. They, yeah. I mean, they pretty eyes. They back right down. Yeah, yeah. And she's got three cats, two well, cats in the barn. One. That's another one you can't find. Well, yeah, somebody dropped one off. Unfortunately, at the end of the driveway, me and Billy chased them. Danny just kind of stood there trying to figure out what was going on. As I'm yelling, and, I mean, they they almost hit it as they took off. That's how bad it was. But you can definitely tell that this was a house cat. This happens to these guys out here in the country a lot. I mean, didn't you have a dog dropped off? A couple dogs. Yeah. And she made sure that they got fixed and taken care of. Okay. Great. Right. There. Well, what do you want to talk about? What do you two want to talk about? I want to talk about me. Me. No, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, you had a wedding. Does anybody want to call in? Yeah. Come Does on, anybody guys. have questions? Nine two zero three eight one three nine four two. Uh, yeah, yes, the wedding. I it is. It yes, is I a was trying to get away for. We yeah, have, have our calls. calls. We could have phone calls. Somebody call it. We have the fry and three wit candle. Please, <clears> that in the potty works. And boy, can you smell it? Just with the wet. Oh, ew, yeah. Yeah, wait. Let me call in. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is. Yeah, I'm gonna do S. Pistachio toasted vanilla. And so, it's so smelly. It smells so good that you can smell it. Yes. With the cover on, even. So, Lori. Yes. Um, we're going to touch a little bit about dementia. Okay? Yep. You have been dealing with your dad since yep. your mom, unfortunately, after 50 what? Eight years of marriage. Has decided to get a divorce. Personally, we don't think it's her mom. We think it's the sisters that have bullied her into it. Yep. But unfortunately, her dad is going down pretty fast because of the stress. Yep. I'm dealing with, today was an off day. I had, it's hard. Several calls to It's just hard to talk about. He called once when we started to pass, and I ignored it. Aw, okay. I totally know where you're coming from. I just, I have some amazing resources that are helping me. I have aging and disability on board to get me some um, equipment that's, I have to go get some. um, A walker? Quotes for the walker. I get the quotes for the walker, they will 
uh, purchase it with the funding that dad is qualified for. Um, it's just hard because I'm dealing with a lot of the, the crap that's being dished at me and dished at him. I come unglued at the lawyer yesterday to get answers on his behalf because he is questioning Mar um, property line mark land blah. He's uh, questioning where property lines are and tell him where he lives. He lives out on the other side of Freedom, and um, he's pretty still close to the Indian Reservation. He is right? on. He is, he on, is on, on the Indian. He is on the Native Nation thing. Beautiful but, place. Um, very. He's very proud of it. I am too. Um, he stays busy, and he gets out on the uh, the ranger and goes out by the pond and the woods and stuff. And I've been able to track him with three sixty on my phone. And but it's just it's hard watching him just slide all. And he's capable of taking care of himself, but it's just been a long process and it's taking its toll. He definitely can. Uh... He can tell you how to get from Oneida in Green Bay all the way to my house without using the highway. Now, def that def doesn't tell you how intelligent this man is. He could stand in his kitchen, and mind you, he lives like six miles on the other side of Freedom, and tell you how to get from his house to the Brown County Courthouse from not using the highway. Yeah, and honest to God, I'm thankful for 360 because I watched him yesterday morning when we had court go all the back roads through town to the courthouse. And he was, he was anxiety triggered by the time he got there. He was, his anxiety was, he was very off. He forgot to put his ear, hearing aids in. It was well, the sad thing is your sisters are playing games. Um, yeah, they're asking I just don't want to bring all the uh, prices on everything in his yeah. home. She can't even clean the house. I haven't taken the dust bunnies out for over a year. Because if she even tries to do anything, they are right there. We don't know how they know what's going on inside that house. There's hobby cameras. We tried. We we, I got, went, we swept it. We swept I went and cameras. bought a device to detect cameras and listing. Yeah, no, it. One room is a hot spot, and I cannot figure out where the device is. If it's a screw or if it's a pen. I can't figure it out. I need help. But if, yeah. But we changed all the locks. I changed We had a young man come out, Jared, and he changed all the locks for us. Yeah. So they cannot get back in the house physically without us knowing. Yep. But Would this is where we know. Grandpa with his dementia give him the key and hope no, not. No, no, no. He discusses Cass them right now. Cassie, he is very meticulous. The checkbooks, the keys to the the vehicle, the keys to all the vehicles are on one key chain. When he goes to bed at night, it's all under his pillow. Yeah, he he, he is that so on you, too. Oh, I don't care. I well, mean, they, they he can't, can't get to it because his head is on there. Yeah. He's right there. He is very, he is so very alert with that. Stuff. Yes. But the dementia, because dementia. of the... Um, Stress, which I went through with my mom and dad. Yep. Um, stress is the worst thing for dementia or Alzheimer's. It will bring it on faster. And these guys know this. They they demand that he has a scan. The doctor even said he does not need a scan. Why would you want this money to be spent? Yep. I mean, it's stupid. I've been dealing Her with sisters and brother in laws. I've been dealing with this for over a year. Because you've been alone with that phone call. <laughs> Welcome hi. to the good cronies. Wow. It's Luann. Well, hi, Luann. Luann. Welcome. Hi. I, I was just watching you. I, I switched it to my TV on YouTube. Ooh. And for some reason, it's like repeating the same thing. <laughs> Is that on my end or your end? That was a slick one. Repeating, oh. Luann, repeating what? Well, I watched the thing when you started talking to Lori about her dad, and then it came on again. You can tell me how to get from. You turn down your TV. Tur yeah, Luann, okay. turn your, your turn your TV down a little bit, sweetheart. Okay. 
because we're getting the feedback. Okay, sorry. There you go. You're, no, but you're all good. Uh, now, now it's going through, but um, the the part where you start talking to Lori, that first part it repeated itself. <laughs> so you know, then that really could have been her. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> because no, what you said would talk about me, talk about me, and Angel when you said that. That I seen that two times. Okay. That so I was just letting you know. But uh, I, I, maybe I, I have a walker. Uh, what kind of walker does Lori's dad need? Oh, Luann, you're awesome. He is looking for. He's six foot tall. He's looking for one that's got the handbrakes on the handlebars, and if it's got a seat on it. Uh, I, I just have the regular one, but it's an extra wide, tall one, and it's brand new. Um, he's looking for this one with a seat and attached to it. Well, thank you, okay. though. Thank you so much. It means okay. a lot. Okay. How are you guys doing? I'm watching it on a big TV. It's easier than watching it on my phone. <laughs> that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Oh, oh you just you go on the. the your phone, or that it says switch to your Roku if you have a Roku. And that's what? what I did, and then I subscribed, and you told me that came up, and it's just a lot easier to see. You. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, where's Shannon tonight? Shannon in Florida. Shannon's in Florida. At... Oh yeah, I'm going to see Tim McGraw. Oh, are you just on speakerphone? Little Yeah. Take it off speaker because it's echoing back in our ears, sir. Okay, hold on. Piercing our ears. <laughs> okay, now you're on. Thank you. Uh, yeah, that helps. Okay. Yeah. Now, now, uh, now, see, I'm watching you on YouTube right now. This is what's weird. And I'm watching Lori talk. I shouldn't I be seeing myself and hearing myself on TV. Yeah, I can hit that. I don't get that part. <laughs> wow. Wow. You know, I'm actually watching right now. You're talking to Lori. Yeah. Um, so shouldn't talking? I be watching? Like, Hold up, well, Luann. Back, yeah. up your, back away from your phone too, oh, a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Can you call? And I can't hear you, though, because I don't have you on speak. Yeah, <laughs> Lori, sweetheart, call us right back because for some reason it's squeaking really bad. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank okay. you. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, how look at these. It's like, wow. Okay. okay. That was amazing. See, can I hear now? <laughs> that was so amazing. That is if you pick up a, a phone or something. Right. Or a, a, like if we... I don't know. It's phone's you... ringing. Let's hope it doesn't do it this time. Hello? Hello. Good. Welcome to Good Cronies. Okay. Now I'm seeing I YouTube. I went when I first called. It's like... It's like not playing live. Okay, you might be like ten seconds behind. Yeah, well, you probably have a leg. YouTube is like longer than ten seconds because I just see my my name when I called just as you picked up and said I. It'll get better as time goes on. We're just trying to figure this out. Oh, Let's no. learn. Yeah. What do you know, honey? That's all. Well, that you're we, good. We appreciate no, that. Thank you. It's all good. Yeah. So yeah, that's a pretty cool idea, though. Yeah. Thank you. We're we're working out all with it. We're working all the bugs out of it right now. Yeah, I like, yeah. I like tormenting Shannon and Lori and Kathy. And yeah. Now my yeah. really good friend, Rain. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome, Rain. Uh, man, thank you for the walker, but he wants one with a seat on it. Yeah. Well, and... you know that that um, Lions Club in Appleton has has a new place there. Yeah, they have a bigger selection than the one in um, Larson. Well, I'm working with Aging and Disability in Brown County. They've been awesome, and I have to get a quote from a um, uh, equipment place. And once I get a quote and turn it in, they will pay for it. Okay, does he have one of those other walkers? Oh, he has no walker right now. He's using a key. Because, uh, this is brand new, and it's like I said, it's for a bigger person. It's okay. extra wide and extra tall. And my, my neighbor was going to throw it out, and I said, no, people can use that stuff. Right. Um, get with Angel. My Facebook has been down. Get with Angel, and I'm probably going to come and look at it. And... And we'll talk about it then. 
Uh, this is Kathy. I know it's Lori talking right now. Oh, okay. See, I, I can't tell because I'm I'm not one watching you on TV, but like I said, it's, it's like I, five minutes behind. <laughs> yeah, no, that's probably YouTube. Just play. It, YouTube is lagging oh, a little bit. To screw with us. Yeah, oh, okay. YouTube is not. <laughs> yeah, so, but I I have it posted on all the sites, but it's you know I don't know. How fast so the other one that I had went right away, but this other okay. is like brand new. It's by Nova. Okay. Um, and you're welcome to use it for now. Um, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Like I just said, my Facebook has been down. I've had a phone go down that Facebook was on. So get a hold of, send Angel a message with your address, okay. and I will get with he. I'll get the address and then and send her a phone number too, so I can call you. And okay. sometime tomorrow, I will come take a look at it and see okay. if it would. Well, sounds good, honey. Yeah. Well, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank um, you so much. You. I've been watching you. Now that I can bring the Sony or watch on TV, it's easier for me to see you. <laughs> well, that's good you. to know how you did that. Yeah. But, yeah. You just got to make sure the person subscribes. Yes. And yes. then it's like connect to Rubu. And then I go under subscrip subscription. And yeah. I find you and get it. And there you are. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, well, thank you. You have a wonderful okay, night. Well, have a good night, girls. You thank too. You. Yep. Bye bye. Okay, bye bye. Bye. That was awesome. Yeah. That was, see. Cool. Word of mouth. Everything goes by word of mouth. Kudos to her. Yes. Yeah. Guys, my Facebook has been down for going on three weeks now. I ain't ignoring ignoring you. I have a big pile that's gonna get put on the site as soon as I get my Facebook back up. Actually, it's been kind of nice because she can't keep, you know. <laughs> no, I miss it because I'm missing all the messages. And I know there's people out there looking for me. Angie, yeah. yeah. I, I will tell you guys, though, it does kind of suck because I have so much stuff that has to get posted. And she comes and gets it from me. I do. So she hasn't I, even been coming to get it. I've been busy. I'm sorry. No, you haven't had a Facebook. That too. You're not going to come get it to have it sit at your house. My garage is extremely full. <laughs> I have a huge, huge pile too. Yeah. So I can't. I'm stuck. I go clean the garage, and it's like I can't go anywhere with it because it can't get on Facebook. So it's pain when the phone goes down. Oh, now he's telling me to talk louder, and then I'm. She with... needs to talk louder. No, tell her. To be quiet. <laughs> Just kidding. Next subject. What are we talking about? The crafts that's going to, um, oh, the craft that we're going to, I'm making with the nails, the golf balls, um, and the, what the heck are they called? They're, it's out of fiberglass and they mark, um, the end of your driveway for the snow piles. Oh, oh they're those reflectors. Things. Reflectors. It's like a reflector? No, it's like a mm. stick. It's just a stick. I don't know. If, if it's for the snow plows, you better have cement. I'm serious. It's snow not, plows have been taken out so many it's things. To make, the, um, to make the flowers out of the nails and spray paint. Fence bulbs. Is that what you need? The pots. No. I'm sorry. I just. I'll show you. Okay. The way you said nails, golf balls. That and sounds dangerous. Like snow plows. That's like, so dangerous. Like when you're going to pop the tires if they get too close to your set. <laughs> dangerous. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm too cocky. Too, 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 too. Yeah. Funny story. Oh, Angel, we need a funny story. Oh, okay. You want a funny story? Let's see. I started today going to pick up Billy at Sam's Club. From Sam's Club, I went over to... Hometown Pharmacy to pick up Danny's medication. As I'm picking up the medication, yeah, a guy was running in. Yeah, when he ran in, he for actually forgot to turn. Kathy, your husband wrote you. Um, <laughs> his uh, he forgot to put his car in. <gasps> no way! Yeah, yeah. So it was going off, and and Danny's just like. Going like this, and I'm like, oh my god! I was like, sir, sir! I'm like beeping my horn. Thank God I wasn't right by him. But he's like, oh my god! His dog was in there. Oh, so I don't know if the dog actually hit the shifter, but he come running out of there so fast and got. I thank God he didn't get it. Didn't get into the big street before it happened. 
but oh my god or hit the big i mean that's not a funny story but it's you know that's what happened and then from there i went to go back home and i didn't have very much time i had to hurry up and undress put a dress on and get to a wedding oh and the wedding was absolutely beautiful oh my god um and it was (laughs) it's my nephew (laughs) um mitch mitch hughes as oh my god his wife her dress was absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous the wedding was beautiful um in fact actually i'm going to have out of that wedding i'm going to have another subject that's coming and it's going to be prison guards oh yes um my other nephew works for the prison and he actually has a longtime guy that works there and he's going to talk to him to see if they'll come on and tell us some of the horrifying stories and funny stories because they're not all bad sometimes they're good and uh that's that's going to be a really interesting one. So wow. I'm going to line that up with him. He, he'll let me know, and then we'll let everybody know when that one's going to come on. Rima wants to come for that one. <laughs> she wants to see. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Pretty so. soon we'll have a whole back here full of people watching. I know. <laughs> They'll be just like a reverting door. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it works. Yeah, we do. That's how you do it. And um, we're looking for sponsors again. Yes, please, please. We yes. really do need some sponsors need so some... we can keep doing this. Because right now, Kathy and her husband are funding this whole thing. Yeah, as we, we're very thankful. Yeah, we. I, I can't I even tell you say, how thankful. Um, Dawn, right? Is her name Dawn? They picked up the dog food for. Her. That's was it? Uh, Dawn? I didn't hear you say a name. Sorry, dear. Oh, no, it's uh, Karen. Karen. Karen Dumbbell. Karen. Karen, thank you so much for the dog food. Um, you know, it's a revolving door. So it's kind of like, you know, give a little here, take a little here. Um, it really did help. It really is going to help. It doesn't take... If you just understand that it's coming from our pockets to do the podcast, it does, the dog food meant a lot for me that Karen actually has a contest on our um, lifting up our community right now oh tell me about it that I um, can't see it (laughs) well several people have do uh asked for Tony to get a haircut (laughs) so here we go again nope Danny Danny went on there and asked please and thank you and gave a number I did Shannon did I did yeah Kathy did you know, we all want him to get one of the free haircuts because <laughs> she's got two free haircuts that she's willing to give away. Oh, oh no. I think she took it down. Oh, did she? Yeah. I think she, yeah, she took it down. Oh, did she? Yeah, because um, I looked for it today and I couldn't find it anymore. Well, did she pick somebody? Yeah, I think she picked two. Oh, really? Aw. I don't know who she picked. Let me yeah, text her quick. Yeah. Oh, Lori. I didn't doubt who she, who she picked. That or if anybody else is out there that can help us get Tony a haircut. Maria Stuck Hansen. Well, she's at a wedding right now, but uh, hopefully she'll watch this. Uh, Tony needs a haircut. Please and thank you. Yeah. He can take Danny's. There you go. Yep. Serene, do you have any funny stories about your animals? I know Quinn can be pretty comical. Who's no, Quinn? you can tell them. Who's Quinn? Quinn is the dog. Oh, Quinn is Angel's favorite when she goes out there to watch the no, horses. No, no. Actually, Actually, take that back. Quinn is Billy's favorite. Yeah. Oh, I love Quinn. I really do. Yeah, Quinn is not a normal dog. I'll tell you that right now. You were He's scared, not. Were you? Uh, at first, I was because when you first walk in, even after he meets me, and if I'm gone for a week, he is very territorial. He is a one person animal seriously so when she's gone and i take over he actually looks like i'm at i'm rain i mean that's how it is this is what kind of dog is he border collie so you know he's horrible with the horses oh my god (laughs) i just want to kill him i'm not kidding he gets out there before i do and candy his ears are straight back i mean she just she gets so pissed off at him i'm not kidding i'm just gonna say it the way it is 
he he just he nips at their little but he never gets them but he'll nip and one of these saw um, didn't he actually get kicked once yeah broke his like yeah what oh i have pictures i reset his leg yeah all by myself because they wanted a thousand dollars just to start oh well, i'll just do it myself but you should see how he runs. i have i have all the supplies right kevin we just did it ourselves we'd made splint and everything Ouch. wow that's okay, cool. But you know what? He still didn't learn. He still didn't learn because he will go and he will chase those horses. He brings them into you. But uh, then really, actually, to be honest with you, let's back up. Let's talk a little bit about what a Border Collie is. A Border Collie is a working dog. So to be generally honest with you, Quinn is, is normal. My barrier, the way Quinn runs around, said my dog would actually win competitions. We're never being trained um, that is what Quinn does is what Border Collies do. And he does go right down when you yell at him. Yeah. And he just, boom, right there. Yeah. For me, yes, so. he does listen to me. He is a one-person dog. He is extremely protective of me. But at the same time, I don't think he would ever hurt a fly. No, no. Because, no. I mean, to, to listen to him, you would think yes. Seriously. His, uh, his, uh, his growl when you first come in. He's just, you know, it's scary. Yeah. And so that's why when I came back out there this bulldog. time. So they're scared of the bulldog right? because of the big jaw. Right. Yeah. But Quinn is exactly how Quinn is supposed to be per his breed. So there's really nothing wrong with him. No. <laughs> no, I, I'm just saying. Right. If you really want to get something done with the horses, you don't bring Quinn out there. <laughs> because he does irritate Candy. And then when he irritates Candy, Leroy gets mad. So then Leroy will charge. Yeah. And if you're in the stall at the time, it's kind of, it can be, it can be a little intimidating because all of a sudden Leroy will turn and I'm just like, whoa, okay, it's Quinn. You know, and, yeah, and then you just say, Quinn, down. And he does, bam, wow. right there. Doesn't matter if he's like right under the horse, bam, he goes down. Have you had Quinn since a puppy? Mm -hmm. that's, that's a good thing. Yeah. I know. <laughs> okay. So you have a question for Rain. You're going to ask, not yet. Okay. <laughs> She's got a cough. Remind me what I was going to ask. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Uh, wait, I'll wait for her to put that on. She's, oh, we got to talk first. She's got a dry throat. Um, it's not water, but it's a coffee. <laughs> Protein coffee. You should know that. Come on. <laughs> Have you ever tried that? Um, do on beer? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, do you want a beer? <laughs> I think he's going to get you a water. Yeah. I know. Don't you hate that when you get that tickle? Or a water 14 or a uh, diet Pepsi? Oh. Looks like we have five watching. Thank you. Ooh, that's a cold. Thank you. We're down to one water. Oh, one man, do eat water? <laughs> hey, guys. I just can see five of you watching. Go give us a call. We have a prize. Yeah, we have a yep, prize for the Collins. Somebody's going to win. Three wood candle, $36 value. I was asking, I was talking to Rain earlier when we were offline and Kevin was gone. Um, <laughs> now I'm going to look at his face. <laughs> miniature cow. A Highlander. A Highlander. A miniature cow is called a Highlander. Yes, a Highlander. I really wanted one, but they won't let me have one in the city. <laughs> And I asked her, can I keep a note by you if I promise to get <laughs> She said, Kevin's going to say no. <laughs> Ashley, Rain is too. Because they can't just try my bar and I don't want my bar yeah. to try. Well, I really did want one. Now I'll get down to the other part. $1,300 for the little cow. $5,000 to get it neutered, spadered, all of the shots and everything. Yes. It, yeah, that too. <laughs> can't speak, sorry. And then there was another upcharge of another $3,000 for something. Shipping I'm just like, oh, my God. No, that wasn't even shipping yet. That wasn't even shipping. Where are they shipping it from? China? Actually, it's not, a, it's not around here. Oh. So it was just like, yeah, and I, I guess that just determined me right down to not getting um, wow. a cow. I'll just keep the stuffed animals. Is there any high? And I'll take here? Rain and Kevin's horses. <laughs> yeah, there's Highlanders around. Yeah, there is actually. Yeah, there there is. is. Actually, if you go out towards Brilliant that way, there's a little farm that has them. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. 
that I got to play once. I did. I did. That's why I wanted one. Yeah. Doesn't somebody want to call? Nine two zero. Doesn't somebody want to win a candle? Nine two zero three eight one three nine four two. Ooh, we got six of you watching. Come on, what do you say? I can Give see us a you. Call. It is nine two zero three eight one three nine four two. I know somebody wants to call just to say hi. What about a recipe? Somebody call and give us a recipe. Yeah. I actually tried spicy chicken. I think they put a little too much spice in this chicken. Because let me tell you, I couldn't breathe. When did you I, do that? Uh, I did that uh, yesterday. Wow. Yeah. Even Billy wouldn't eat it. And Billy eats everything. Seriously, Billy's actually hilarious. Did you just have a vacation with your son? I did. I did. Tuesday, I went to the Mackinac, Mackinac, Mackinac Bridge. I went over it. And let me tell you guys, until you actually go on that bridge, you don't know what it is. Because if you are in a semi, which I was, when we got, when we started, it was like, Oh, this is pretty cool. I'm looking over. There's no railings. It does, I mean, the railings are so little. It's unbelievable. So as we're going up, we got to the top. And it's like, <laughs> this is kind of scary. Um, trucks, buses, anything big can only do 20 miles an hour over this bridge because of the winds. Now, we get to the top and we're starting to go down. Like I said, is the like first this? part, yes. Mm -hmm. So the first part was awesome. I mean, and the water down there is so blue, I felt like I was on my cruise. I swear, I, I was like I was looking over the edge of the ship. You can't say boat, because if you say boat, you'll get in trouble. It's a ship. But I'm looking over, and I'm just like, oh, my God, this is so cool. All of a sudden, a big gust of wind hit. It wasn't cool anymore. Not even close. I was scared crapless. I don't know how semis can, can keep, I mean... All I could see, oh, I, I mean, I was my son like this, and he'd keep going like this with his shoulder because you know it's constant. Kind of, you know, I, I yeah, mean, it was like muscles are so tight. And I said that to him. I says, "How he says working out?" I says, "That doesn't help." <laughs> I said, "Because I'm watching you. You're trying to relocate your because the first thing that goes in a truck driver is yep. your shoulders, yep. the rotator. Because yep. we right. used to run a motor coach company all the way up to 2015." And my mom, I mean, my dad drove, my brothers drove, three, two of my brothers drove. No, only one? Yeah, two of my brothers, Al and John. And uh, it was awesome. And people keep asking me, do you miss that? I miss the people. I really do. I miss the people. I miss hostessing the run. Do I miss the phone calls that come in at 6, 8 o'clock in the morning? Um, and then the phones can ring all the way up to 11 o'clock. Do I miss the um, things that people call in? And the best one was when my mom answered the phones. Me and my dad were on the bus. And this lady literally pulled right in front of us. Literally. Everybody on the bus was angry. They wanted to shoot her. They wanted <laughs> to just stop her. And she called the phone number on the back of the bus. And my mom answered. My mom was on the phone with my dad. So she says, hold on, hon. And she answered the business. And she says, did you just cut somebody off? He says, no, but tell her you will check the, um, because we had. Uh, Rosters. Huh? The roster. No, we had uh, cameras on the outside of the bus. Uh -huh. So he says, tell her you will check the cameras when you get back home and you will reprimand him if he did anything wrong. The lady hung up on my room. Before he could even say anything. Oh. Because she knew she was in the wrong. She cut us off. Oh. And that's why I want to say, people, trucks, semis, um, buses, they cannot stop on the drop of a dime. No. Okay? So, please, be aware. Be a little bit kinder to them. Because you know what? It's not fair. Nobody can stop at a, di at a dime. Nobody. Not even a SUV, a car. Nobody can stop. I know, but drop. think about it. Some right that has all that weight behind them. That's why we have so right. many you're truck right. accidents. You're like, look so at that. You're so right. You're so right. 41, that big yeah, truck accident that happened. just happened head on. Yeah. Yeah. That took out, what, three children? Yep. And two adults. Yeah. But no, I'm just And don't know who it was. Can. No. Nobody can. No. No, nobody can stop on the drop of a dime, but 
Um, not when a semi is loaded. Apparently, can stop. Yeah, if in that semi is loaded, even a bus. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't matter how good your brakes are. You cannot, bam, just stop. Mm-mm. They'll it take us a nice. second. You know, it takes That's us a couple nice. of seconds to just, yeah. A bus won't, but we still can't stop just like that. So, but yeah, I, anyways, I was with my son and we were, uh, we went on to the beach and it's funny because I've been talking to this psychic, Jeff. Yeah, Jeff Hugh, Jeff Huggin or Higgin or something like that. And he says, your dad and mom have been leaving you messages. I know a lot of people don't believe in that stuff, okay? Whatever. But I haven't seen any messages. So I made these steps. It was like 100 steps. I'm not kidding. I don't do steps because I have a hard time with my hip. I got all the way down and I'm thinking, how the hell am I going to get back up those stairs? Because my son's looking at me like, good for you, mom. And I'm thinking, yeah, good for me. How am I getting back up? I looked down at the bottom of the steps, and here's two white feathers. Oh. He said that I was going to start seeing white feathers from heaven. Oh, just on the, it was right on the sands. And it was like, oh, of course, there was a rock right there, too, and I had to pick up. <laughs> of course. Rocky didn't see me pick up that, but no, he heard, so I'll get yelled at for that. I'm, I'm the rock lady. I'm sorry. I love rocks. I know you are. You have a bucket sitting in my house yet. Yes. I had to hide. Well... I had to hide some stuff from everybody who was helping me pack my house because a lot of my stuff went in the dumpster. Yeah. Yep. And uh, so she took some of my good stuff and hid it on me. <laughs> we brought it to her house. Oh, we got five minutes. Wow. So it didn't fast today. Yeah, it did go fast. That's because I was... Okay, guys, we still have that's four... Cause, that's because people... rain's here. We had one pin call tonight. How this blink? How? Well, what are we get into with our? We <laughs> didn't hear to with our cries. Four people are still watching. Give well, us a call, guys. And what? Just we'll randomly do. give us a call so we can give you the prize. Yeah, come on, guys. It's a candle. It's a beautiful candle. It smells really good. It smells awesome. Or else I get it. I'm gonna take it home with me. No. Oh. Or no, we save it for next week. Yeah, right. We'll yeah. save it till next yeah, week. Too probably we get more. Week. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, thank you, guys. For sponsors as well. Yeah, um, yeah. please, make sure you subscribe. Okay. Please push that subscribe. It's so important to us. Pass it along to your neighbors, too. Tell them to subscribe. Yeah, tell them to come look. You know, it's nonsense, but, you know. And not a nonsense. Ad, if you want to be a guest, if you have something interesting to talk about. Yes, please contact one of us. Lori, Kathy, Cause now we're Angel, gonna, yeah, or even Shannon. Now we're going to have some correction officers coming in. Yes. I can't wait to hear this one. We love to have the cool. psychics come sometime. Yep. We're going to try to get those guys on. Um, we're, we're look- I tried to get Bonnie Mansky. Um, you know. Bonnie Mansky. Yeah, but, but Tommy Tommy's tour. Tommy's tours. She's yeah. the one that we're taking. We're going on a Explain bus trip. Explain about the bus trip. That one. Yes. Actually, we even got Lori going on this one this yeah. time. Tommy's Tours. Check it out, guys. I took um, It's really nice. We're going to Lake of the Torches this time. Normally, they go to Chip in Harris, Michigan. But this time, we're going to Lake of the Torches. It's been quite a while since I've been up to Lake of the Torches. I'm hoping some of my workers are still up there so they see me. Because Dan will be just like, can't take, can't I take you anywhere? <laughs> I mean, yesterday we went, it's funny, we went to get our taxes done. We walk into H&R Block and the one girl comes out, Ellen, and she goes, Danny. And she, he's looking at her like, who the heck are you? Danny knew who it was because she's a follower on the site. Oh. And then um, our young girl from Ruby's. Um, I can't think of her name right up here. And I, I grabbed her. She's probably going to watch this and really yell at me. She comes over, Angel. And Dan's like, yep, I can't take you to anywhere in Mark. <laughs> and Debbie, who was doing our taxes, is looking at us like, how do you know these guys? I do your taxes. I says, well, they're on my site, and they follow Danny. And she's like, Danny has his own page? I says, oh, yeah, he's oh, yeah. Elvis. I didn't even have to finish it. They came out and said, oh, yeah, he's Elvis, A.K. Danny. Yep. <laughs> so they keep him in follows. Two minutes. Oh, yes. It's, a, it's Yeah, 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 they love what I have sing. been. I have been with Angel in King, Walk-In Festival or Menards or anywhere, and somebody comes up around the corner going, hey, there's Elvis. And Angel's like, yep, Elvis is in the house again. Yeah, all of a sudden, Dave's like, that's me. You know? <laughs> he does. He's just like, that's me. And he goes like this. Uh-huh. 
Yep. What color roses you got? Yep. No, it goes like this. He makes roses out of the air. Roses. Yep. But nobody can have the orange because those are my. Oh, I get oranges. I know. He's been slipping. <laughs> <laughs> He's not allowed to give the orange ones away. If you get a black one, I'm going to tell you right now, you're very fortunate. Oh, yes. Because that's his favorite color. Oh, yes. I will get one minute. I oh, one minute. So let's wrap this up with telling us about, okay, lifting up our community. Um, if anybody has anything that they are giving away that is in We're going to have a baby shower in, in like a couple of weeks. Yes. In April, we, we are having use... a baby shower. We could really use some baby stuff. Um, it doesn't have to be brand new. It can be used stuff. Uh, we have moms out there that don't have anything. So something that's not good for you, like say this cup, you're like, I'm done with it. Somebody else could really use it, especially if it has a cow. Um, we could gently use a, some baby clothes to give away to new mommies. Oh, yes. gosh. Um, oh, I was, um, I'm sorry, this it is going over. This is going to go over. Um, I was searching grants this week, and I found, oh, yeah, I found a grant place for, let me find it, um, diapers. Oh, oh. Um, for baby. Sh um, you have to baby tell us your mom the list diapers. Okay. Um, if they register, they get so many disposable diapers. They have to register within forty-five days of due date. They can't do it any any further ahead. They have to do it forty-five days in advance. Why? Wow. They um and they get month and disposable and diapers to begin with, and when they outgrow them, they get. The next size? The next size up. Oh, nice. That's um, awesome. Is that kind of like what I have in my... You garage? have kind of... We are, well, we think it's disposable, though. Yes. Those are the reusable. You got re reusable diapers that I'm... That okay, are, yeah, because I got hey, really so nasty here, ones. Here, I got it. Clothes diapers, it's the clothoption.org slash supply. It distributes new or gently used cloth diapers and other reusable hygiene products to families in need. Us ones receive 20 cloth diaper changes, infants 15 changes, potty changes receive 10. Diapers are distributed on a loan basis process, but can be kept for as long as family needs, but must be treated in for the next size up. Pregnant and adoption applications are accepted and reviewed no earlier than 45 days from due date. Diapers will be issued 30 days before due date. Cost is free. Awesome. awesome. Four years or younger. Oh, wow. Nice. Well, thank you for that information. That's awesome. Okay. We're winding it, winding it up. Okay, guys. We uh, thanks for, we thank you, Luann, for calling in. Um, thank okay. you. Our only if caller, unfortunately. Information about the diapers, that will be um, we can at the baby shower. Yeah, yeah. We'll, t we'll bring that to the baby shower, which is awesome. in April. We just haven't picked a date yet. Yeah. So I want to say thank you from Angela Lord Hansen. Thank you from Rain. Thank you for Ka uh, Kathy Hagen in HGN Photography. And thank you from Lori Seymour. And thank you to husband. Yes, Evan. Thank you, Kevin. Kevin's sitting in the corner. <laughs> she you. says he's pretty, but he's actually handsome. All right, thank you. Thank you. Good Have a great day. Bye. Good night. Bye.